Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm excited to be sharing with you the new Studio Calico April release. Uh, today is April 1st, 2023 and I have a lot of stamps and kits to share with you. We're going to start with the add-on stamp sets and then we're going to get into the subscription kits. So let's get to it. There's a lot to share. Okay, so let's start with this 3 by 4 monthly stamp set. This is the April. I love the luggage, the map, the Polaroids. Those are so cute. I really like that a lot. <laughs> uh, next up, we have these tags. And there's a lot of travel-themed stamp sets this month. There's also a travel mini kit. It is adorable, but it was running behind, so I wasn't able to get my hands on it yet. But definitely take a look. I will be linking it in the description box for you. But this is the tag one. Really like the keychain. And it has just really cute little sayings and sentiments. There's another travel themed. Love the plane. Love the Eiffel Tower. Ready for takeoff. Palm trees, the cactus. Off to new places. So cute. I'm determined to travel this year, you guys. I haven't traveled for so long. Anyways, we have this really cute, adorable stamp set. I'm in love, love the buildings. And it's such a good stamp set to kind of document uh, the city, probably if you went on vacation to a city or there's just a lot of beautiful buildings. It's just a good stamp set. Love the labels as well. Another theme, travel themed stamp set. Love the Polaroid. And then you have a filler as well. Go see do. Taking all the photos, um, a different must-see. By the way, I don't have my glasses on, so I cannot see those teeny tiny words, but it's a cute one. So I'm excited for this one. I have been thinking over kind of documenting my mood throughout my daily journal, and I think the stamp set would be perfect for that. It just has the right amount of emojis to kind of document my mood. So I was really excited for this one. And I love that you have the word circles that you can stamp around your mood, basically. And we have a 6x8. Again, another travel-themed stamp set. And these are just bigger, like, tickets. And you can kind of stamp these on tags if you wanted to. I am excited for this. I think these would fit nicely in my, my tags as well. So I'm going to give it a try, but... They're so cute. I love the little icons as well. This, you know, if you've been around here for a while, you know I'm excited for the number stamps. This one looks so much fun. I can totally see myself using this to document my, my dad turning 83. Within a week, my sister <laughs> turned 43. So there's just going to be so much use out of this. And you can kind of mix and match. So you can stamp the block with just the number or fill out your block number with a different color. I don't know. I'm just going to try. I'm going to play with this. I'm really excited for it. I just feel like it's going to be a good one for my project life to document all the birthdays that have happened in March. Anyways, those are the add-on stamp sets. Let's take a look at our kits. Okay, let's take a look at our subscription stamp set. It is designed by In a Creative Bubble, which makes me so, so happy. And those buildings, they are beautiful. I love that it has fillers. You have big city love. Happy to be here. Exploring everywhere. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. This one's going to be perfect for kind of documenting um, my kid going to college and moving into Atlanta. That's going to be a lot of fun. So that is the subscription stamp set. Let's take a look at the Traveler's Notebook Kit. Okay, so the Traveler's Notebook Kit, by the way, before I start, I did want to mention that Studio Calico sends all their kits in these pouches and they're perfect for storing them. I did want to mention that for anybody who's new here. But um, you get this adorable pinkish washi. It's checkered. Really cute. Loving that. Uh, you get a pack of die cuts and they're very adorable you have some cherries some tickets labels a really cute kitty cat it says take it easy there's just so many in there 
that you can use kind of to document travel, maybe a day at home or something. Love the colors on those. These are a favorite. I love these Studio Calico frames and they are chipboard. So you get two of each and those colors are so fun and different. I don't think I've seen that lime green with Studio Calico, but there's just some really, really pretty ones. That one's my favorite. So you get those chipboards or chipboard frames. You also get these circle labels, different colors and different sayings, like little things make big things happen. You get two of those. The purple alphas and your three by four stamp set, those tags. So if you don't wanna purchase the large four by six, you can still use the little keychain or tag with the Traveler's Notebook stamp set. Really cute and it has like, silence is golden, taking a deep breath. Again, I need my glasses. Okay, let's take a look at the Traveler's Notebook. I'm just gonna do a quick flip through and I will share with you my favorites. Okay, I definitely have some favorites. Um, there is some colors in here that are not my jam, but we're gonna give them a try. Love that one, so cute. See, like, I don't like that green on green. That, maybe it's the lime green, I'm not sure. It's not my kind of color. Really like that. Love this one. Love this one with the tag. Always a favorite, I love it when they have Kind of the same layout or pattern, but on two different pages. Like, and they connect, basically. Really, really like that. There's one more. I like that one, too. But there's another one here that I like. I did not think I would like this, but I really like that. It's pretty cute. I can totally see myself using that. But anyways, that is the Traveler's Notebook kit. And I want to share with you the documenter kit. And I believe I'm going to be using the documenter kit today in my project life. So if you want to see that, definitely keep watching. But I'm just going to grab the documenter kit and share that with you as well. Okay, so the documenter kit does come with that same die cut pack from the Traveler's Notebook kit. And the frames, which is pretty awesome. Because if you're like subscribed to the Traveler's Notebook, but not the documenter, you still do get the frames either way. Or if you're like subscribed to both, you can get both packs, which you double up. But anyways, that's pretty cool. Um, also, you get the label stickers. Get two of those. Love Studio Calico's label stickers. Those are favorite. Red Alphas. Then you also get some puffy butterflies you guys know i'm not a fan of butterflies i don't know why they follow me around everywhere <laughs> but i'm gonna try to use them we shall see i don't know i just i don't feel them especially my scrapbooking i love them when i see them in my yard in my garden but not on my scrapbooking layouts you get the april sticker sheet love this month's sticker sheet look at that bunny he's so cute then take care of planet earth like that a lot the 3x4 stamp set is a favorite. There's peaches on there, you guys, and it says living the sweet life. You have also the cherries, and I'm thinking that's an apricot. I think so, or a plum. I'm not even sure, but I'm just excited that there's a peach on there. You have like the circle that you can stamp the peach in. Really excited for that one. Let's take a look at the 4x6 and 3x4 cards for this month's documentary kit.
Okay, so there's a lot of cats <laughs> in this kit, and I don't have a cat. I'm not a big fan of cats, um, long story. But anyways, uh, this one's really cute. I like this one. I can still use the cat cards. I do love anything with the buildings. These are really cute, and I love the colors they chose. The one thing I don't like about this month's kit is the that like creamy color as you can see like you can see that here maybe on camera hopefully like that's white that's pure white and that's that creamy color i'm just not a fan of cream paper or cream background i always feel like it gives it that vintage look and i don't work well with vintage look looks so i always struggle to use that cream but there's some really cute ones i love this and i'm happy that they used white background on that I'm just going to have to be picky on which side of my cards I use because I did notice that there was a lot of that cream. As you can see, like some of my favorites are with the creamy background. I'm just going to have to figure it out. Maybe if I add journaling to this, I won't notice it as much, but I just hate how it looks with my photos. I don't know. It's just in my head. That's how I feel. Anyways, cute kit, some cute cards really cute embellishments and adorable stamp sets so as always i will link everything in the description box for you and i'm going to be working in my project life today so if you want to see me use my documenter kit in my project life just keep watching i'm just going to put you on fast forward voiceover and we're gonna get to crafting okay let's start working on one of my spreads that is going in my project life album uh, as you guys know i did switch to monthly documentation in my project life this year so this is just a layout full of celebration i'm just going to be documenting three amazing birthdays that happened in march and i'm really liking the th four by six green cards. I feel like it went really well with the colors from my photos, especially that in one of the pictures, my mom is wearing green. So I felt like I could use uh, the green card to give that pop of color. Now I do struggle with the three by four cards because I'm thinking I could add an extra photo, uh, maybe use one of these frame cards to add that photo. So I just decide to add all the favorites and then decide later, basically. Um, so I'm gonna start with my title card. You can see here, I decide against using the other green four by six and just flipping it over and using the title for my flip up. And you'll see in a little bit how I use that. But for now, I'm going to work on my title card. And because I'm not documenting weekly, I don't need a week card. I just need something fun and colorful for my title card. What I decide to do is use one of the frames from the kit and I'm gonna stamp Living the Sweet Life. This is also the stamp set from the kit. Stamp it in the center and I frame it with that chipboard frame. I really like that light pink against the green. And as you can see, I was able to use that cream background from that green card and I didn't struggle with it, which is a good thing because I was really worried that I'm gonna struggle with the cream cards. Anyways, as I shared earlier, there is a new number stamp and I'm obsessed, you guys. I really wanted to use this number stamp to document each family member's age for that birthday, if that makes sense. So what I thought I would do was stamp out my dad turning 83, stamp out my little sister turning 43, and my older sister turning 50. And I just wanted to do this because I knew it would be bold in your face. And once you like flip through my album, you'll definitely kind of figure out that there was three birthdays that month and that's how old each person is right now. So I just really wanted to do this. I went ahead and stamped it on some sticker paper, to trim each one out and add each number to each four by six photo. It's gonna look really good, so bold with the colors from my cards. I'm kind of obsessed with this layout right now. This is probably my favorite layout from my 2023 Project Life album. So anyways, let's move on. I'm trimming down my numbers. I'm gonna go ahead and stick them down to each photo. 
and then I'm going to work on that 4x6 photo of my mom and dad. I wanted to create a flip up, so I'm going to work on that and put that card together. Now that I'm done adding my numbers, I'm going to work on that flip up. I had a collage of a few photos with some journaling and I wanted to create a flip up. I love this card that says the little pieces make the big picture and it was just perfect for my flip up. So if you've been around here, you know how I create these flip ups. It's very easy. I either use a piece of paper and create a little hinge for my two cards and my photo or I'll use washi tape, but I found that the paper works better and lasts longer. So once I get my flip up all done, I'm gonna stick down my number and I wanted to embellish it a little bit. Like I said earlier, my mom is wearing green and I do wanna bring in hints of green throughout my layout. What I decided to do is grab those labels that came in the kit. One of the labels was green and I believe it said lovely or loving this. So I'm just going to use that label. I'm going to trim off some of that white portion. I don't need to like write anything. So I'm just going to end up adding that to my number. Brings in some green and adds some cuteness to my photo. I'm moving on to this 3 by 4 photo of my sisters and I. I really like the yellow. I feel like, you know, yellow and green looks great together. It's a nice way to bring in hints of the balloons from my photos. So what I decide to do is trim down my photo to fit in the box. And I believe the card said this moment in the details. In this moment box, I'm just going to color in these alphas. I do not like them in red. They don't go well with my layout. So what I ended up doing is coloring them in black with my black Posca pen. I set them aside to dry and then I can use them as a title for my photo. Now, one way I like to bring in color is to use my three by four cards and back up my photos with them. It's a great way to bring in some color, just like I'm doing right here. I trimmed down this three by four photo of my dad and I, and I'm just using this adorable purple three by four card to add a pop of purple to my spread. The purple with the green and the yellow was just perfect. So I just basically used my tiny attacher and attached that photo to it. Now I'm going back to that three by four card where I trimmed down my photo and uh, colored in those alphas and just added the alphas as a title. Anyways, moving on, I'm trying to make up my mind which three by four card I wanna use for journaling. And while I was doing that, I really liked this other frame 3x4 card. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and print out an extra photo. And I just wanted to kind of document that my kids played uh, their uh, instruments and played some beautiful music for the family on my father's birthday. And my dad loved it. He felt so special. So I trimmed down that photo, added it to the frame. It's kind of like a Polaroid 3x4 card. Added a little label in yellow to bring in some more of the yellow and call my card done. Um, but I really wanted to use this uh, stamp set that came in the documenter kit. It had a little peach and I just had to stamp it out. What I decide to do is stamp it on some sticker paper. I'll stamp the circle, then I'll stamp the little peach in the center, punch it out and use it as an embellishment for that uh, three by four photo of my dad and I. It was so cute. It had to be stamped out and used on my spread. But once I do that, I'm going to call my layout done. I love the boldness of the numbers. I just really feel like it pops and it really tells the story. And like I said earlier, I believe this is my favorite layout in my Project Life album right now. But anyways, don't forget today is release day at Studio Calico. We'll be adding all the links and everything I used down in the description box for you. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.